Bell Post Hill versus Lee Districts, and it's a rip snorter match there for those of you who follow Bell Post Hill. 14 8 98 to Lee Districts, 4 5 29. That's 4 5 29. North Geelong and Thompson, certainly nothing much in it either. One way street for North Geelong, 7 9 51. Plays Thompson, 3 6 24. Amateurs and Anarchy. It's a close one, and the scoreline is just in favour of amateurs, 7-7-49, Anarchy, 7-2-44. To East Belmont and Geelong West Football Club and Cricket, where you see the match there progressing along very nicely for East Belmont, 9-8-62, Geelong West Cricket and Football Club, 4-6-30. St. Leonard's, 3-6-24, Eastern Suburbs, 10-13-73. And also a very close match is the Motawari and Bannockburn match. Motawari, 8-10-58, Bannockburn, 7-7-49. A quick update now from, of course, the AFL as we have it. And Carlton is on fire. They certainly are. 10-14-74, 20 points in favour against Hawthorne. And it's a big turnaround for those guys. 8-6-54. Football 93, we go back to the match of the day, of course, today between Carayo and Werribee Centrals. And it's taken away here, the mark taken, a nice one, two taken by Cockrell, he goes down to the forward line, looking for Boothroyd, out they come, Cunningham gets the hand pass away, it's an effective one, too, Cicino gathers it, Cicino for the Centrals, goes out wide to Fisher, Fisher has got time to steady, Cicino gathers it, Fisher around the kicks from the truck, he left foot, looking for Keogh, he's got the knee band, he's on Fisher, and Kevin Keogh blocks it, and Fisher gets away with 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 as it goes, one of his hands about his throw in. Uh, four points for us. Yeah, Mitchell Oka's in the hands of the trainers at the other end of the ground, too, falling out rather awkwardly. And uh, yeah, players uh, pulling apart early stage for the first uh, third quarter. As we see the ball back into play, quick kick now. Sees the ball sharked swiftly by the dashing fullback, Bernard Dash. Kicks the ball quickly out to the direction there of Barry Neville, the 39 jersey for Werribee Centrals, under pressure from Calvin Kenny. Kenny did well, support there from Peter Brown for the Centrals. His hand pass, though, went nowhere in particular. In fact, he's given it to the boundary umpire on that at member's side of the ground and will have a throw in right on the member's side. Centre wing, two points the margin. Carayo, 6 4 40. Werribee Centrals, 5 8 38. Yeah, Ram Power about to start play again. There's another trailload of cakes arrived here. We'll go home every than what we started, Ron. They've certainly changed up the field. Correa, they said they hadn't. They're not kidding us. Cousins, Sharks, they're not down. Goes with the left foot. Up towards half forward. Target, Miss Manson. Oh, couldn't right. mark. Okay. Hand pass across. No, dummy did. Went on the left foot. Now down to the pocket. Looking for both right out of the lane. Oh, oh it's the one behind his head. What about a sensational mark? Goes back and gets it to Spurs Roy. Straightens up. Comes in on the right foot and fires a goal. He's off line one point only. Wouldn't that have been? That one have been the painter's punt mark of the day. That one, Ronnie. But he just couldn't juggle it. Juggled it twice. It was back behind his head. He still nearly took it. Yeah, great effort, Rod Booth. Roy did uh, a little unfortunate on that occasion. Did all the right things. Really uh, worked hard. Got a metre break on his opponent there in the pocket. Shot at goal from 35. Just missed to the left of uh, the big sticks. And there's one point on the board for the Cray Devils. There's Peter Nash, takes the kick from fullback, comes out towards the lead of Morley, and up he goes and takes a nice grab with both hands and half back in front of Marsh. Morley, left foot kick to centre wing. Looking up here for his teammate in Big Cunningham, he's nudged under the ball. In comes Shelley and heads for the safety of the fence, and over the lane it goes as Brady goes for the coffee. I'll go for the cake. The boundary umpire waits for the ball. Not coming back to him quick enough. Umpire blew the whistle, said, Come on, now do the right thing. Here it is. Boundary umpire throwing it back into play. Settling on the uh, attacking side of the ground for mine as it throws it in. The umpire's played a free kick. Looks like Big Tulai taking him. Hand pass immediately to Finlay. Finlay kicks with that left foot of his. Up towards half board flank position. Up they come. Chris Delaney can't mark. Mick O'Toole's at the back of the pack gathers them. A free kick has already been paid. Going the way there was an O'Toole. Kicks the ball out towards half forward. In comes uh, Delaney. A quick hand pass. Gives it to Finlay. In trouble. Oh, effective hand pass from Finlay. Finds his teammate. Goes down the ground. Was uh, Barry Neville. But the mark taken in defence by Correa. And they're going to come out of it, Ron, with a bit of luck here. And Cousins puts it on the foot quickly towards the centre of the ground. Johnny Cousins does that cookie. The kick, though, drops short. And in front. The field of the afternoon, Robbie Andrews takes it in front of Phil Boyle, plays on, kicks it long. That's the order of the afternoon. It's a half forward. Looks to Mick Cunningham. The loose ball at the back of the pack sees that Pies Brown swoops on the leather. The big fella couldn't bend down and pick it up. He's kicked it off by Carbot, but he's popped it over the line out of bounds. 25 metres from the Werribee Central goal, and we've been travelling about three minutes of this third and vital quarter of football. Paddy what was by Taco Bell.
Saco Bill, boundary throw in, three points to difference, down it comes, here's Cousins coming into his own, picks up Cousins, sharks the pack well, kicks the ball up towards centre half back, the big fella goes across, Ricky Neville and taps it sideways, goes and gets a little kick around the corner, Cousins buttering up well, hand pass back to Nevada Cornwall, and the skipper screams out of half back. Away goes Cornwall, out the woods to the centre of the ground. Up they go, no mark taken there by Dean Manson. Good enough to butter up, kicks it around the corner. The Cockrell plays it immediately. Greg Cockrell over the top, gives it Ian. Ian's in trouble, runs around his opponent. Fires, oh, 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 Great goal in Cockrell moves Karaya to 6 5 47. Nine point leaders over Wirrabee Central. 5 8 38. Four and a half minutes travel of the third term. And I've got him out as a first and second quarter. Good player in Cockrell. He's having a good day. A player bringing the ball back to the centre. Alarm signs are there for the Centrals. Mark Henry's at half time. Up here with a set. If they can get the running game going, they'll cut them to bits. And that's just what they did then. And that stands up, Rainey, as the umpire bounces it down. And Jimmy Hobson went to hit down. Straight to Finlay, who boomerangs run sideways with the left foot. Out wide he goes. Looking for the first gamer in Neville. It's too far to cross for Neville. And the boundary umpire's going to get a bit of work. And earn a bit of loot there. Away on a half forward flank for the Centrals doing the attacking. Yes, Paul. Member side of the ground. Now over the top door, Darren Shelley takes the ball, uncontested, gives it to the dash of cheating, picks the footy up now, looks up the ground, the kick though a bit too well weighted, I would suggest, and he's missed everything. Kicked it out of bounds on the full with Kelvin Keating, and where his centrals can take a sigh of relief, Cookie, and uh, defend now through the agency of Mickey Kiloka, I think you'll find. No, it was Morley. Justin Morley. No, no Robbie, Robbie Andrews. Robbie Andrews. He's got Morley his uh, right knee heavily strapped. And uh, so there's a few of them with that. Yeah, so too Kevin Keogh. Andrews' little kick is not a particularly good one. Chipping in, taking the mark here. Might well have been, uh, or missed it, might have been Kent. Goes down towards half forward. Out comes Nash. Meets the footy well. Punt kicks back towards the centre of the ground. Up goes Greg Cockrell, being a handy player, and takes the mark for Correa. And he's going to send them into attack. And away goes Cockerell. Yes, a lovely kick too up there, Boothroyd, on that occasion, beaten by Nash. But, oh, look at the big fella, Boothroyd. Butted up well, fed off to the hand pass of Boyle, sold the dummy on Chris Delaney, goes bang, a goal from 40 metres. Bending back. Oh, it's close. Just off line. One point only to the Boyle. One point just off line. Looked a good kick off the boot when it swung back, but it must have swung over a path the goal post. There's a goal on five as one on the uh, one of the business there. 48 place 38. All of a sudden, Karaya have a 10 point break, and the Centrals are under siege here. Nash comes in from full back. Punt kicks. Not a particularly good one. Well, wound up all right because little Delaney took the mark. Hand pass across the Simon Milan. Been a quiet play in the second quarter. He goes out wide looking for Neville, the first gamer. He dropped one he should have taken. Stacked on top of the mill out there at centre wing, far side of the ground. And the uh, a golden opportunity missed there by the central through Neville with that little fumble, Ronnie. It's going to be a ball up decision and a correct one by the umpire. Ten points the difference in the Taco Bills third quarter. Yep, third and vital quarter of football. Ten points separating these two top sides of Division One GDFL football as the umpire suggested a great tackle by Simon Ballon. And Ballon now will get the free kick at centre wing. Great tackle on John Cousins. Sees down and Simon Ballon. Punts it up and up and under job and uh, didn't really kick the ball as well as you would have liked. Great mark taken in defence. I think you'll find it's Dave Cullen. Come on now, after that mark, plays on immediately, goes short to on two, who dummies around very nicely for the big fella, then runs his full distance, might have run a bit more, punt kicks long towards Cockrell, he can't mark, at the bottom of the pack, picked up by Dean Manson, kicks it in towards the leader, first right, he's out in front, and he's taken the mark, and first paid it, he may have paid the infringement, Ron, can you fill me in on that one? Well, yes, didn't think quite he paid the it long enough, but I think you'll find, yes, second by the Shuri was rewarded there by umpire Greg Fiel. And an opportunity now for Legs Booth Rider Rodney, an opportunity now to kick number five at 101 for the season. He's about 40 metres from goal, 45 degree angle. Distance should not be a problem. This to make it 16 points to difference. Toraio getting away a bit from the centrals. Just after half time, here comes Boothroy. Takes plenty of time about his kicks. Punt kicks for goal. Oh, look at this. The goal umpire leans back and says, Yeah, but it's a beauty. Boothroy has kicked his fifth goal for the day. 
sensational kick off the boot of Rodney Boothroyd at 16 points to Everest now, and Karaya got the break running. Yes, and that's all coming from the centre square too, and you've got to give credit where it's due. Blokes like uh, Ian Cockrell, Jimmy Onter, Greg Cockrell, Johnny Cutton, they're all working hard now together as a unit, and, uh, well, the Central boys have really got to work a bit harder now for the remainder of this third term to get back in at and you've got to work a bit harder. We've got a plate full of cakes. We haven't eaten there, Ron, as the umpire bounces it back on the center of the ground. Up goes Big Pooh Iron, slaps it back 20 metres to the advantage of his side. Out by the chance. Was it Adam Kent held without the footy? He's going to get a free kick, that Carayo player. Calvin as he Keith. picks himself up, it is Kel Curdy as the rain starts coming again. Now they've got to switch the play a bit, some of these sides. And here goes Curdy doing just that. Goes across towards the, grand, the uh, outer side of the ground. Hand pass. Comes back from Greg Cockrell. Giving it to Jimmy on two. Punt kicks the half forward. Mark taken out here by the big fellows at Boyle. It is short ones on. Brady points it out and taking the marks for me, Marsh. And Robbie Andrew is not very well giving uh, Philip Boyle too much latitude and his favourite that right knee, which is heavily bandaged. Not good signs for the central. This is not and uh, Nevada Cornwall, the skipper, just giving Boyle a bit of pat on the bum there for that good work. In comes Marsh and fires this to make it 22 points. The difference looks good off the boot. Magnificent kick from Marsh. It's a goal.
just picking him up. Uh, it looks like Vicky Galoka. Yeah, they've got a few advantages on at the moment, Ron. I just wonder whether they've got enough fit fellas on the ground. Now, is the ball going to come back into play and it does throw through Adam Kent? Hunt kicks towards the leader Booth, right? This time it's led to the pocket. Not a good lead, not a good kick either from Adam Kent. And it bounces in front of Booth, right? Spills off hand and the boundary is showing. About 35 metres around from the behind post. Correo doing all the attacking in the third quarter. Umpire puts it back into play. Up goes Cunningham, knocks it over the top. Galoka knocks it down to the ground. Looking at the advantage of Delaney who couldn't handle the footy. It's supposed to the fence there at half back. We can't see much now. It's out of bounds. And the umpire's going to have to throw it in again. <laughs> Score update to Waverley Park, and it's all happening. Carlton has uh, just doubled their score in the third stanza. 12-16-88, place Hawthorne, 9-10-64. Boundary showing over the back of the pack, a chance for Correa with a hand pass. A good one from Cambridge, went across to Cockrell. That was Ian Cockrell, claimed, loses the footy. Goes in over it again, he's a tough customer, Cockrell. And comes out, his teammate Boyle picks it up. Boyle, a flying rope was shot, it's up and under. 20 metres out from the goal. Chance for Marsh, runs across the pack. Marsh picks up, Marsh fires with a left foot. Swampy Marsh goes bang, bang, bang. It's a beauty. Great goal, Swampy Marsh, 62nd. And the Correa Devils running right. Early stages of the third quarter. Well, it's been all Correa, Ron. They have kicked three goals for this quarter. What a kick, four goals for, I think. Yeah. And, and the Werribee Centrals have registered just one behind. And you just wonder where they're going to come back into the game. The good players have gone out of the Centrals. Furlai, who was dominating the centre bounces, is now not doing such. And uh, Keo looks to be injured. So too does Robbie Andrews. And Mick Galapagos has got the bandage on as well. And it's making it a bit easier for their forwards, the Correa boys, to run out of the footy. Back to the centre of the ground. Umpire grabs us, puts the ball on the turf. Finlay sharks it from the bounce, from the bounce down. Goes out wide, looking at the hood, centre wing for little Chris Delaney. Can't pick it up, pushes the ball in front of him, pushed up the footy. Might have been illegally, I'd suggest, there by Ricky Neville. And the free kick is going to go. The little fella, Chris Delaney, with a ponytail tied back on the black pants on him, Brony. Let's see if you can get him forward. Yeah, he kicks it long. It's a lovely kick, too. There's put an infringement on Peter Brown. And Pies Brown will get the free kick. Uh, on Jimmy on Turk, who uh, pushed fire to delivering and Manny John Peter Brown as well. Yes, there is. Oh, he goes for the spiral torpedo. It's a beauty. Up to the teeth of goal. Fordham comes out. Couldn't hold the mark. The loose ball. Shark by Shelley. Hand pass to Ian Cockrell. Takes his time in the back pocket. Looks to set a half forward. Foil in front. Couldn't take the ball. He fringes on Darren Finlay. And the dashing sediment for the Centrals gets the free kick. And he made sure the umpire I saw that one too. Did Finlay took the dive. But the free kick was there. Up he goes. Looking up there for Big Cunningham. Or was it Howard? Can't mark. At the back of the pack, it's pulled out wide. Here's the chance for Correo. Through the agency of under the bottom of the pack, McCone. He gets it out to his teammate. has to kick in a hurry, Cambridge. Up he goes towards Neville. Neville can't mark. In goes Keo. Lays a good tackle. Umpire said it's a free kick going Correo's way. I think against Barry Delaney, is it? No, it's going to go to Barry Delaney. And it's going against the Correo player on the mark there, which was uh, Neville. Good work in defence there too for the Correa side. Jimmy on Turk unbustled the uh, big fella Howard. The loose ball sees down at the stripper. Nevada Cornwall. If he can pick it up cleanly, he does so eventually. Is it to the dashing Kelvin Keating? He was dispossessed of the leather by Morley, but now chipping in Greg Cockrell shoots a goal. Gee whiz, that was quick work, wasn't it? They moved that ball very well from the half back line. Cockrell shot a goal just off line, unfortunately. Well done, Kel Cooney. He made a good tackle earlier. Well on the ball down with Nevada Cornwall. They just couldn't pick it up cleanly. Had the ball bounce for him. I think they might have got a sausage roll out of that run, but unfortunately that wasn't the case for the Correo Devils. And Ash now puts the foot in it and brings it out in a play out over half back. Well, the kick is an absolute shocker because he's picked out uh, a lovely uh, big fella there in Carayo's uh, Jimmy on Turk. He uh, took the uncontested mark, kicked it to the lead of Boothroyd, couldn't take the ball cleanly, but he butters up well, pivots around, picks the ball up and shoots at goal. But uh, he's offline, the big fella, and uh, he's kicked but one goal to this turn. Well, uh, Mark Hetrich up here at halftime said you'll see a different uh, Rod Boothroyd after halftime there. He's got the 100. We have. He's kicking points there. He's not kicking the goals, Ron. Yes, certainly. And maybe it's just a, a bit of relaxing that he's doing after the pressure was obviously on him in that first half of footy. But uh, to his credit, he kicked these four goals that was needed at the 26-minute mark and kicked his 100th goal for the season, did Rodney Boothroyd. And see you, Carollo at 10 goals, 10-70. They are leading the Centrals, 5 goals, 8-38. 
as Brennan Ash prepares to bring the ball back into play. Favours the uh, Shell Club side of the ground this time. Looking for Galauka. Too far for him. In goes Little Delaney. Gets the hand pass out. Keo under pressure. It's pushed away from him by Neville. Neville now goes out wide. Here's the chance for Dean Manson to handle the footy for Carayo. He's put under enormous pressure there. And the ball spills free after those good tackles there. And is it a free kick? The umpire's come in here, umpire grabs us. No, it is a boundary throw, and I just thought he was going to pay a free there for a minute. It's a boundary throw in. Perhaps half forward flank and Carrillo in attack. OK, now, Floppy Marsh just calling for a pair of boots. He's obviously got miles on and is having a bit of trouble keeping his footing since that heavy downpour made the surface very slippery, Cookie. A little bit slippery as the boundary on might have slipped because it wasn't a good throw in, Ron. Uh, at the bottom of the pack boils a chance, gets it out. Cousins can't pick it up. In they go. Ball spills out past Marsh, who did slip there as he went and got the footy. Gets the little kick, it's smothered by Finlay. Lands in the arms of Barry Delaney. Left foot kick by Delaney is charged down by Sloppy Marsh. The ball relays, off hand. Hand pass over the top there from Cullen. Lands in the arms of the player in Jamie Ellis. Ducked under one and just as well he did. Out comes Morley and attacks the footy hard. Nevada Cornwall at the bottom of that pack one to appreciate that treatment. The ball's in centre wing position. The rain has stopped. The sun is about to shine again. And the umpire's blown the whistle and he's about to ball it up again. Running. Yeah, some good tough stuff both sides. Players going in strongly for the letter. And fire. Matty Grafsis has called for a ball up out of sight centre wing. Puts it on the turf. Up goes on Turkey. He's beaten by Cunningham. He's left it over the top. Oh, Cousin Shark that well fires the hand past the Kelvin Keating. And the speedy Keating goes away through the centre of the ground. Up towards half forward. Up comes Boothroyd. Can't mark. Pushed in the back by an ash. Play on the call. Boothroyd goes in after it. Pushes it forwards. Coming through the pack and doing it well to Shelley. Well up from the fence. Pump kicks long towards the forward pocket and getting back. Gastasino has got plenty of time to take the kick and he kicks it out to the centre wing. Uh, sharp back flank. I'd suggest that he finds Nash. Yeah, Nash well up the ground as uh, Bootsford has gone down. Maybe there's a change there uh, in the defence of Werribee Centrals. The loose ball picked up by Kelvin Keating at half forward. His kick though is a poor one. Dropped short in front. Taking a nice mark. Dennis Cunningham. Dennis Cunningham favours the far side of the ground. And he goes. He's got a lead out here from Finlay who takes the mark. One half back flat. Grandstand side of the ground. Centrals need to get some goals quickly as Finlay punt kicks up towards the centre wing. It's stumped back 25 metres towards Mick Galauka. Runs under the foot. He loses control of it at the last minute. And over the boundary line it goes for boundary through in fast side of the ground. It's been all Correo in the third quarter. Yes, certainly has Cookie. And uh, we've been travelling now 21 minutes of the third term. And it's, uh, as you mentioned, Correo doing all the attacking. Wherever Centrals have only had it over half forward on one occasion. Opportunity now through the agency of Chris Delaney. His hand pass a little bit too slippery for Kevin Keogh. But it up well loaded, uh, Chris Delaney. Kicks it quickly up to the uh, pocket member's side. Leading Chris Fordham. Takes it. Plays on quickly. Goes short looking for Peter Brown. But oh, great work. Darren Shelley again for the Cryo side. And he's defended superbly here this afternoon. Chipped in very well there because the, the pass was on from uh, from Fordham to Brown. But Shelley read it well and just drifted across and chipped in very nicely. His kick's gone out of bounds. Way up there at half back. Boundary throw in. Nevada Cornwall a chance to run another footy. Can't do so. Hand fast. Comes back towards Greg Cockrell. He punt kicks quickly up towards centre wing. The target is Boyle. It's pushed away from Boyle. Goes close to the fence. And this is the true centre wing position. Grandstand side of the ground. Third quarter brought here by first land and the boundary umpire. Earning his money out there at this special stage, Ronnie. is going to throw it in once more. Yes, uh, for some reason, Cookie, the ball has been on that member side for a fair bit of the afternoon. And, uh, well, there's no real wind advantage or reason for that. But uh, just making it a little harder for us commentators up here this afternoon. As the ball picked up now at ground level by Jamie Ellis for the Centrals. Pivots on the left foot, goes to the centre half forward position. Robbie Andrews, held there by Shelley, fisted the ball away. Jimmy on Turk swoops on it for the Carayo side and kicks it up to half forward. Morley has it put a foot wrong all day, Justin Morley for the Centrals. Kicks it off the carpet. Likewise now, Chris Delaney picks it up well. Throws the ball back to centre half forward, but it's Paul Carayo and that man Shelley again. Four against one, and Shelley took the mark. His kick is smothered by, uh, uh, might have been Morley off the boot there. It goes, uh, Andrews it was. It comes back with a little left foot kick by Morley up towards half forward, streaming through Andrews. Gathers the footy well, but he keeps it in. He does so with a hand pass. It's ill directed though, and coming out of defence, Mikko Till as he kicks the ball for Carayo at the centre wing, and as Ron called, a very good mark taken. It might be Nevada Cornwall, was it? On the right foot, very Plays on quickly, finds his teammate who takes the mark in Keith Cornwall. And away goes Cornwall, 
that was Keith down the ground. For the player that got it to him, Ron, was Dave McKinnon, and he's back on the ground. Yes, and McKinnon gets another possession, too, with some good work. Now Swampy Marsh swoops on the leather. Good vision, Swampy. Gives it a cost to the skipper. You'll get a game next, Swampy, next week, because he's given a skipper who shot a goal from 30 metres. Don't tell me he's missed it. Oh, poor kick, Nevada call. Well, that could have been the barrier. That could have been the final nail, Ron, but he's missed that one, and... Uh, under no pressure at all. There's plenty of Cornwalls out there now, too. There's Mansons and Cornwalls. I don't know who we're calling them. We've got long sleeves to half them, too. And here's the kick coming in from fullback. Nash is still doing the kick in. Long kick out towards Morley. Up he goes. Oh, he's out, Mark, by Greg Cockrell from behind, who takes a very strong mark. Justin Morley goes through, but Greg Cockrell's played a pretty good game. Kicks the ball into the forward pocket. The lead is on, and the mark is taken by brother Greg. Deep in the forward pocket. The angle's going to be reasonably acute, but they are deep pockets here, Ronnie, and you can and kick him right from where he is at the present time. That was Greg to Ian. Greg to Ian, was it? That's the call. As we've seen now, an opportunity. Ian Cottrell has kicked one goal already here this afternoon. Opportunity on the boundary line, but he's only some 20 metres from goal. Oh, on the uh, left side of his body, he is a left footer. Walters in and pops through a great goal. Lovely kick, Ian Cottrell. A good kick by Greg Cottrell to find him, Ron, too. They play very well the pair of the boys, haven't they? Yeah, they certainly have, and uh, a real power and strength the Cockrell boys hit us afternoon and all season for the Cryo Devils as they now move to 11-11-77. We're be Central's 5 8 38, 25 minute mark of the third term. Score update and Geelong now has 19-14-128, uh, North Melbourne 9-10-64, Gary Ablett's got six. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. I can tell you, Rod Boothroyd has got five here. He's already kicked his hundred for Corio. They have kicked about, oh, blimey, five goals, seven this quarter. And Werribee Central's have managed just the one solitary behind. As back in the centre, Cunningham goes up and slaps it down. I don't know where Perlo is. I can't find him on the ground, Ron. Knocked away by Finlay out of the centre up the woods. Ties Brown. Taken away from him. Cheating. Hand pass. Goes backwards. The, the, the ball is gathered by Jamie Ellis. He cut, punt kicks the ball up towards the forward zone. Up they come. Chance for McCone. Does well as McGillar. Punt kicks the ball away on that far side of the ground again. And they're resolute in defence as the kick comes across towards Cockrell. And this is Greg this time. Punt kicks the ball long. At the back. Up they go. Boothroyd does the fisting. Down to Greg Cockrell. Knocked away from him by uh, coming out of the fence there was Morley doing very well. And over the line out of bounds. Dennis Cunningham it was. And that may well be out of bounds. Ronnie was the umpire found a free kick. He's found a free kick, I think. Yeah, Dennis Cunningham playing the football. Hell, without the ball, we'll get the, the uh, free kick. And just uh, for your information, Cookie, the uh, big fella, James Pulley, is at centre-half back picking up Philip Boyle now. Mm, well, change there. The ball goes from centre wing up towards half forward. Up goes Shelley. Fists the ball away from his opponent. The ball hits the turf. Chance here for Simon Bolan. Hand pass over the top towards Andrews. Not moving too well. Crane in the tackle loses it. He's got support from little Chris Delaney who hand passes out of the pack. Kick it off the ground. Say the supporters of the Correo slide. And kick it off the ground they do with a hand pass coming back now. One over the top wasn't a good one because Keo intercepts it. Keo has to kick in a hurry. And then it's uh, run into the umpire. Put the whistle to the mouth. Let it go on as Galauka down the forward pocket for the centrals. Can they bump a goal? Galauka streams go with a buzz. He might have hooked it back on that one. I think Ronnie. Yeah, great goal, Mickey Galauka. Family needed goal for the Werribee Central side. Kick by the number 20, Joe Guernsey. Mick Galauka is second for the day. And Ronnie don't need a couple more of them before the three-quarter time siren. Yes, they've really lost the plot. A couple of injuries to uh, key uh, defenders for the Centrals has really had uh, the whole team reshuffled. And uh, as I mentioned, Werribee Centrals now 6 8 44. They trail Karaya by 33 points. 11 11 77 for Karaya Devils. And uh, late stages of this third and vital quarter. On the ball now for the Central is the 52 Guernsey, Mickey Cunningham. And he run on the ball. We've mentioned James Fullight, a centre half back. Nash still picking up Booth Roy. But, uh, yeah, they're just a little unbalanced at the present time, the uh, Central. They look unbalanced without Fuller on the ruck, don't they? Just, they just look to have lost something there at the centre bounces. Up they go. And the knockdown is actually by Cousins this time. Through goes Cockrell. Forgot the footy. The hand pass comes across from Dave Kernahan. McKernan, rather. He kicks the ball down towards the forward zone. Nash thumps the ball towards the fence. Boothroyd's first on. Can't pick it up cleanly, can legs. Of his hands over the line out of bounds boundary, so him 40 metres around from the goal to which Corio are attacking, and they've got a pretty handy break in the Taco Bills third quarter. Yes, and uh, we do thank the Taco Bills, top of the hill there in Rubble Street, uh, 
So there's the point of GDFL footy. It's breaking clear now for the centrals. Gus Cicino He's changed direction for the members' side of the ground. Good bounce of the ball. Flavors Justin Molly. He's quick kick though. And he travels a short term, and I think he'll find, unfortunately for the central, he's popping over one of the full. Keating takes the free kick. Yeah, bad luck, but good play, Gus Cicino. Took the punt there. They haven't done that enough. It comes back to Finlay. Finlay intercepts at half back. Kicks the centrals towards the uh, centre wing position, but getting back, taking a good mark here for, uh, it looks like Cullen, is it? Dave Cullen, it is for Correa. Takes the ball wide at, uh, at the centre half back position. Kicks to that position now. Finds the team out. Wants to play along. Echo to a mate position, but fell over in the slippery conditions. In comes Delaney. Little Chris Delaney picks up, fires in towards half forward. He's looking for the run of Robbie Andrews. Can he pick it up before the boundary line? He can. Comes back onto his left foot. Kicks it with the right, though. Fires the ball into the goal mouth. Who's home? Anyone back there? No one at all. Adam Kent's playing the oh. tackle. Gets it away to Ed Kent. McCone it was. Give it to McKent. And Kent give it back to McCone. And away goes McCone down the ground. And looking for it. Finally taking a good mark is Keith Cornwall. Yeah, running back with the flight of the ball. Uh, good judgment there, Keith Cornwall. Support there from Kent. Good football from him. Kicks it long to half forward. In front, Susuno puts a great tackle on Cousins. The loose ball spills now. Shark by McKinnon. Under pressure from Susuno. Sees on good football, Ricky Neville. Good vision. Gets the ball. Hand pass over the top. Looks for his skipper in Nevada. Cornwall. But he was well met there by Kevin Geo. The loose ball spills over the line. Out of bounds right in front of the commentary position on this out of sight or shell club side of the ground, centre wing. Correa wing control, the boundary umpire throws it in, up goes Cunningham, slaps the ball, does it down to Finlay, Finlay tumbles the punt, under pressure, gains 25, 30 metres, bounces it inside the boundary line, is that the side of running? It's certainly a score. Oh, they're getting better every year, I've heard that one too, at three quarter time, Correa have gone to 11 goals, 11, 77, they are leading wherever he said,